isn't life such a beautiful thing? Don't you think? If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on. You're part of the notification. <laughs> that time I had Taco Bell, I'm inspired. <laughs> I'm inspired to make Americanized Mexican tacos. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best Americanized Mexican taco. Don't blame. Start off like this. Five Roma tomatoes, or let's make our salsa, I mean, jumping the gun. Five Roma tomatoes going in, half a jalapeno going in, one small bunch of cilantro. Blend it up. I'm gonna do a teaspoon of garlic, two tablespoons of chopped onion. Take our mixture, dump it all in. Take one whole lime, squeeze that all in. Go in with a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, mix that in. Then we taste this. Mmm, 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 mmm. I think that's just perfect, right there, guys. So if it needs more salt, add more salt, add more pepper for your liking, all right? In the same blender, guacamole time. So I got five avocados going in. Once it's Americanized Mexican food, we're going all out. Blend this up. Once you get that all nice and blend, half a teaspoon of garlic. Take out your mush avocado. Dump this all in. Make sure you get all of it in there, guys. Don't waste it. Because we know, guys, we know already that $2, how much was that again? How much did she charge me? $2 for that much? <laughs> Don't waste it, guys. All right, let's do this. We're gonna take one cup of our salsa, try and drain out as much water as possible because the salt extracts the water from the tomato, and just flop it on, guys. One with a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and we taste this and adjust our seasoning for our liking. Mmm, perfect. Next, avocado salsa. So I gotta make an avocado salsa, guys. You guys have never eaten an avocado salsa with tacos ever before. You guys are missing out. <laughs> so one and a half avocado going in. Here I have tomatillos. Add in half of this can. Just half with the water. Cilantro, one little bunch. Half a jalapeno. Blend it up. Just got it nice and blended. Taste your nectar. Mm, 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 mm. The best thing ever. I ain't gonna lie. A red sauce for our tacos. So I got half a liter of chicken stock here, four pieces of Mexican chili that's been hydrating in water, half a teaspoon of cumin, teaspoon of garlic, teaspoon of black pepper. Once you got that nice and boiled up, ow, take our blender and blend that up. Guys. Get this nice and blended. I'm just gonna let this reduce for additional 20 more minutes, guys, just to thicken up. Our cheese sauce, I was gonna do just like crumbly cheese on top, but I feel like a cheese sauce needs to be done. We got two tablespoons of butter here. I'm just gonna let this melt. Two tablespoons of flour. Cook this flour in. I'm going to go in with half a cup of chicken stock, then one cup of heavy whipping cream. This part right here I'm going to season, so half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and I got half a tablespoon of chili powder. Mix this in. Once it thickens nicely, go in with two cups of cheddar cheese and turn off your fire. Make sure, guys, turn off your fire. There it is, guys. Your beautiful cheese sauce to pour on your tacos. Isn't that beautiful? It's so velvety and good. <laughs> Final thing guys, I got two and a half pounds of lean ground beef here. Let's season. So I got one teaspoon of Old Bay here, half tablespoon of salt, half tablespoon of pepper, one teaspoon of chili powder, half teaspoon of cumin, quarter teaspoon of oregano, quarter teaspoon of dry basil, quarter teaspoon of ground thyme, one teaspoon of white pepper, one tablespoon of paprika, or two tablespoons for me because I love paprika, tablespoon of garlic, and two tablespoons of chopped onions. Once I got this meat nice and brown, I got one cup of water here, which I'm just gonna pour in. So I got one tablespoon of flour here, dissolve into four tablespoons of water, and I'm just gonna do one tablespoon of this. Last few things, let's heat up our flour tortilla. So I've got them nice and heated onto our, ow. Tin foil. A few of these medium ones, and I'm gonna do a few of these larger ones, or semi larger ones. Once we got them nice and warmed up, we're just gonna cover them. There it is. Next, I got some corn tortilla that I'm gonna kind of fry up. I'm gonna fry this up until it becomes nice and crispy. I'm also gonna do this the rest of my flour tortilla. So I'm gonna fry these up too. Once you got them nice and fried, pull them out. Simple and easy. Last thing, cheesy fries, ow! Time to set up this American Mexican taco up. We got our flour tortilla. Just lay them out, guys. Gonna do our seasoned beef. 
Let's get a cheese sauce. Mix a dollop of sour cream. I'm gonna go in with some salsa and shredded lettuce. Our fried corn tortilla. I'm just gonna fill this up with some salsa. Let's do a mini burrito. Just meat, sour cream, guac, nice tomatoes, our cheese sauce. Roll it up. Next, I got the flour fried flour tortilla here. So it's just the same thing, guys, with some tomatoes. Fill these fried flour tortilla up with some lettuce as well. The next few things, guys, I'm just gonna do some tosquitos. So I got a little beef, a little cheese. Flap on the two sides. Roll this up. Take two toothpicks. Stab it in. Dunk them in, ow! And dunk them into the pool. So they become nice and crispy, just pull them out. Pull out your toothpicks on your chimichanga. Ow. Our cheesy fries. So we got curly fries. Sprinkle some Old Bay on there. Moment of silence for this, please. of our beef. A dollop of sour cream, guac, and our salsa. I had to drain the water, guys. So there was a lot of water that was extracting. Last few touches, got some ramekin here. So I'm just gonna fill up onto this side. Can't waste that cheese sauce. We got a red sauce. Come on, neighbor. <laughs> Avocado salsa. I'm gonna do one sour cream. There it is, guys. This is my twist, my take on Americanized Mexican tacos. When are you guys gonna come by? Guys, tag somebody that can finish this by themselves. There's only a few. Before we get into this, guys, I wanna give a big, big, big shout out to Taylor Fault from Sea Change Brewery, or the headmaster of this brewery here. So he hooked me up with two, you know guys? I was gonna say 40 ounce, but this is not a 40 ounce. A little under 40 ounce of their beer, or his beer here. So, I wanna say, not much of a beer guy, but my favorite beer is Budweiser. But you know what's cool about this beer? It's brewed here in my city. So these are locally brewed from this beer master here. So shout out to you, Taylor Fault. I wanna say this, guys. Just because I'm not a beer guy, it does smell like Budweiser or a lager, a lager beer. Or oh, it is a lager beer, it says on the thing. So it's much golder than a lager, I'll say. So I can't give you guys the first sip just because there's kids out there. Kids out there always be taking these sips when I offer only adults these sips. The kids are always taking it. Cheers, guys. Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. It kind of does taste like a Budweiser, but more richer. It's more frosty. Yep. I want to say it's more creamier. <laughs> Is that weird? I want to say it's more creamier than a Budweiser and a little more sweeter. That's delicious, I ain't gonna lie. Guys, if you guys are from Edmonton, give this a try and tell me your distinct taste to this. It's like a Budweiser, but more foamier or more creamier and more sweeter. I like that a lot. All right, the next one. It's called the Irish Red Ale. So this is a darker brand, so it's like, I want to say a dark beer or like a Guinness. Guys, quick tie. Let's got it. Nice. Oh, yeah. I take that back. Give me it back. 
Give me it back, see? The beer hit me and I forgot. Give me it back. <laughs> I goofed it there, guys. Kids, you guys better not have taken a sip. If you guys did, spit it out. Mmm. I want to say this is more smoky. It has a smoky taste to it. I really don't know. That's not bad at all. I wish I was a professional beer drinker, guys. Just be like... And just taste everything and tell you what it tastes like. But it tastes... It tastes smoky. It tastes like... I want to say smoke and wood, which is nice. But if I had to pick out of the two, I'll pick this one. The blonde. Guys, this is why... I don't drink or I don't drink and eat because I feel bloated right now. Let this beer settle down for a bit, then we'll get into it. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Chimichurro. Got my cheese sauce there. Guys, quick time. Take the first bite of this. Americanized Mexican style food. That's got it. Nice. I'll pop for this. Mm, 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 mm. That is greasy. <laughs> This, my friend, is super, super greasy. But delicious. I want to dip it into my sauce here. Just to break down the grease. Guys, with the avocado salsa. That's good. Nice. Pump for this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It works so well. Don't dip it in cheese, dip it in your salsa. Mm. And try this red sauce, or I think this is mole sauce. God, nice. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna eat half just because we have so much tacos to eat. The fries kind of just cool down, so it's like hard, or the cheese is hardened now. Mm, 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 mm. Nice. This is the corn tortilla fried taco. It's got it. nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know I keep saying this, but I wish I did have this fresh or just like right out. I should have ate it right out, but my appetite, guys, I had to build it back up and there was a lot of mess, so I had to clean it up before I had to eat. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try the regular tacos. Quick time, guys. That's got it. Nice. I don't know why I said regular tacos, but the taco with the cheese, salsa, and lettuce. Hate me or not, guys. But I kind of like the flour tortilla over the corn tortilla. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like it's much softer and it goes down easier. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. 
Mm -hmm. I was driving today, guys. Went past the park. And I seen a, is it a plate or oh, a daycare? And there was an ice cream truck that was just like ringing and coming by the daycare. And all the kids in that daycare rushed to the corner of the fence <laughs> and watched the ice cream truck drive by. It was the most funniest thing, but the most saddest thing ever. If I had my wallet, guys, I probably would buy all the kids the ice cream. <laughs> Too funny. This burrito. Alright, I'm gonna say it flat out, straight out. Guys, everything tastes exactly the same. <laughs> everything tastes exactly the same, but rolled in something else. Straight up. Like, I tasted this, tasted this, tasted this already. This probably tastes like everything else, but just rolled up into like this. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe I just exposed Taco Bell uh, secret little agenda there. <laughs> Guys, quick time. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I kid you not. It tasted like this. <laughs> but rolled up. Still delicious. But it legit tastes like everything here. Maybe that's why Mexican people hate this type of Mexican or Mexican food because it all tastes the same. <laughs> So the word for this is ung. Um. Mm. Every time I say it's ung, um, it means too much of the same flavor or sick of the same flavor. And this is what it is. I'm not hating on this. Mm. It's delicious, I ain't gonna lie. But everything tastes the same. <laughs> when you say Mexican food, when you bring in Mexican food, it's different, right? Because they have El Pastor, um, carne asada, chorizo. It's all it's all different. Beef tongue, um, manu, manudo. <laughs> it's literally everything different versus your typical. Is this Tex-Mex? Yeah, Tex-Mex here. But no complaints here, guys. I still enjoy it. But everybody here tastes exactly the same. Or every bite I have from this platter tastes exactly the same. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one of your food life's beautiful thing shirts. Or a pop one. Let's share this out. <clears throat> Give me a little brat. Come here. Come here. Come here. You've been waiting all day for this. It's your time to shine, kitty. Everybody's waiting for you. Everybody skip this whole video just to see you, kitty. What are you eating? Come here. Hey. What are you eating? Come here. Come here, you little brat. What are you eating? Hmm? This little brat, this little brat. Look at you. You hungry? You hungry? Yes. You need a haircut, kitty. Yes, you do. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs>